So um, arts department chair Ian Mosher um, runs our art department and Lena Warner, who's uh, in charge of visual art, Lena brought it to Long Trail and she's in her first year here at Long Trail and encouraged all of her art students to create doodles to submit. Um, and so they did that and sure enough, you know, Amelie, not, not surprisingly, but pleasantly and joyfully uh, won, won the Vermont competition. It was, a, it was a pretty neat scene yesterday. We had our normal morning meeting. Every morning we meet as a community. And um, it's a student-run meeting, and usually the seniors run the meeting. Um, but we had a Google representative who, who was in cahoots with our art department chair, myself, and, and Amelie's mother, um, and had a little setup plan to, to reveal the big surprise. And so yesterday at morning meeting, we started with an announcement to reveal that Amelie had won the Vermont competition and now would advance to uh, the national competition. So there's 55, I, I believe 54 um, doodles that will be available to see on the website and folks can vote for the next week on their favorite doodle. Um, and then they pick five finalists from that. And, and in addition to the, the, the prizes that uh, Amelie won, for winning the state competition. There's a significant college scholarship that's associated with the national prize as well as um, as well as technology for the school for, for from the winning doodle. One day, I, I'm in the art class that's like right in the next room over there. So um, my teacher, Lena, she brought it up as like a school project thing because it's an art class, so we just do projects, right? Like, there's a couple projects that we've done that have to do with, like, surrealism or sculpture. But this one she brought up as, like, um, Google for Doodle as a project. So I did it, and I was, like, I was, I was really into, like, the theme of the Doodle. So I, was, I wasn't really planning on submitting it or anything. I was just, I loved the prompt. And I had a really good idea, like, from the start of what I wanted my prompt to be. So I was super excited to, like, get going and, like, get sketching. My teacher, Ian, especially, um, encouraged me to submit it, even though I was like, no, I don't want to. I'm not going to win anything. Here we are. <laughs> she produces art every single day. If she isn't sketching, she's sculpting, she's making jewelry, she's um, painting. You name it, uh, she, she's, uh, yeah, there's no moment she's not creating. I've been doing art since I was like a little kid, so there's, there's, it's kind of like, it's just something that I've been doing my whole life. It's not really like, some, uh, it's not really like a hobby at this point anymore, it's just like how I live, <laughs> I guess. Amelie was super shocked in the morning meeting when they announced that she was the 2023 uh, Vermont Doodle for Google uh, winner and um, she and I are both grateful for all the support and uh, encouragement and, and uh, love we're seeing from friends, family, community, the school and helping us really promote the whole process for the school and all the children that have put doodles uh, into this competition. There's a lot of really cool pieces on the Doodle for Google website, and it's a really cool system. They separate us all by categories of age and grade. So, like, there's K through three, four through five, six through seven. Anyways, it's really cool because you, there, you get five votes, and you can vote for one of each age group. And if you voted for me, that would be great. But I highly suggest that you uh, also vote for all the other doodles out there because there's some really cute ones. And I, I voted um, this morning and they're, they're all amazing. I, I loved looking at everyone's creativity. It was so awesome to see.